It's now clear that the Soviet Union has suffered one of the worst disasters in the history of nuclear power. Massive quantities of radiation have apparently been released in an accident at the Chernobyl power station in the Ukraine. Many thousands of people live in the vicinity. Moscow admits there have been casualties and signs are that a big relief operation is underway. This report from our European correspondent, Mark Colvin. In an unprecedented step, the Kremlin acknowledged there'd been an accident, but only after Scandinavian scientists had picked up high radiation levels. A statement from the Soviet Council of Ministers was read on television, a sign of the degree of Moscow's concern. Diplomats speculated that the mention of casualties could indicate a high death toll. The Soviet news agency TASS said one of the reactors at Chernobyl, north of Kiev, had been damaged. But there are no details of how serious the accident was. Soviet nuclear plants, like this one we were given a rare opportunity to see in 1984, have less built-in safety precautions than Western plants. TASS said measures were being taken to help the injured, and the government was setting up a commission of inquiry. Reports from Kiev say all bus services in the city have been cancelled. The vehicles are being used instead to evacuate the Chernobyl area, with a population estimated at around 50,000. The wind blew a cloud of radiation over the Baltic states towards Scandinavia. Some radiation monitors recorded levels 10 times above normal. In Sweden, about 600 people were evacuated from a nuclear plant north of Stockholm. Authorities there thought at first the radiation levels must be coming from a leak in their own reactor. Some Western scientists suggest the type of pollution detected could indicate a nuclear meltdown. An enormous amount of radioactivity must have gotten out of the power plant. And uh, I spoke with uh, some people in Sweden this morning, and they indicate that they have found iodine uh, in Sweden and uh, cesium, which means, uh, which very strongly suggests that there was a, a core meltdown. The accident at Three Mile Island in the United States in 1979 was a partial meltdown. The nuclear rods melted and fuel pooled at the bottom of the reactor. In the Russian accident, the worst possibility is that the process went the disastrous next step, the core melting down and the radioactive fuel burning into the earth or escaping as gas. There's also the possibility that the pressure vessel ruptured, leaking a vast cloud of radioactive steam. And one big problem which Western scientists see in Soviet plants is the lack of a containment building. When all else fails, there's no outer shell to hold the radioactivity in.